is a it's a good feeling. But first of all, I want to thank Tom and Dr. Giorgio. Uh It's been a, actually my life has been turned upside down in about a week. Uh, I basically had everything under control, and then this came up. But it's a it's a great opportunity, outstanding opportunity. And I can just feel the warmth in this room. Uh, we've been up here since uh, Sunday, and a couple guys that are real special to me, guys that give me the uh, a start. Uh, Jim Ward, former uh, uh, head coach at Eastern Kentucky, he gave me a shot to be a, a Division One head coach at uh, 21 years old. Uh, I was a GA for him. Uh, Pete Dunn, uh, head coach at uh, <clears throat> at Stetson. Uh, you know, I played for under him. He's taught me a lot, uh, and he actually gave me an opportunity to be a recruiting coordinator at 24 years old. Uh, he threw me out there. Uh, and let me learn on my own. And I think that's where a lot of it uh, came from is uh, that early age, 24 years old, just getting out there and, and seeing what worked and seeing what didn't work. And, and then, of course, uh, Jack. Um, what a great guy. Um, Very special, very special uh, person, uh, lifelong friend, um, like a father. Um, he taught me a lot. Uh, he put the blueprint together on how to run a program. And I think from his other assistants you have out there, uh, you've seen that they've been successful, and that's why I'm going to be successful is the blueprint that he has, the type of person he has, uh, how you deal with players, how you deal with media, um, you know, the relationships that you develop, how you communicate. Uh, it's just not X's and O's on the baseball field. It's, it's the whole thing. And, and that's one thing that I'm here to do is not just to build uh, a team, but it's to build a program. And, and that's one thing that uh, he, uh, he did. Um, all the assistant coaches, that I've worked with over the years, uh, some great, great guys, some very successful guys right now. All the players uh, that I've coached, that I recruited, I just want to thank them because I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be the head coach at Winthrop University right now if it wasn't for them. And, and I, I really uh, want to thank them. So it's, uh, it's a great opportunity, great opportunity. Uh, I'm so excited about getting out there. I kind of wish that uh, the fall was starting tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, I've talked to about three quarters of the guys so far, and I can tell you there's an energy already. There's an energy, and that's what I'm excited about. These guys are ready to get going. I think they're ready for a little bit of a change, um, so I'm, I'm just ecstatic about that. About that. Um, I'm actually sitting up here, I think, because of my 18 years of experience, both at Stetson and at uh, Clemson. Um, I'm fortunate enough. I've been with three head coaches that probably have over 3,200 wins. There's probably not too many assistant coaches that's been under young, uh, been under coaches like that. So again, that right there, that uh, gives me the experience that that I think is going to help me uh, build the Winthrop program. Um, um, I'm not going to come out here and make any guarantees about how many W's and L's we have this year. The one thing I will guarantee you is the guys are going to play hard. We're going to be competitive, and they're going to represent Winthrop University both on and off the field in a first-class manner. I, I can guarantee you that. I think if you take care of the little things, the little details, the W's and L's will take care of themselves. And, and I think that's uh, uh, real exciting for me. Uh, you know what? I've had opportunities the last three years uh, to interview other places. You know, I, I, I trust Coach Leggett a lot, and he really told me what was a good situation, was good, what not a good situation. For Winthrop, it's about fit, you know, and this really fit my lifestyle. It fit our family, and I thought that was the the biggest part of it. You know, you know, because like you said, there has been you know Kevin O'Sullivan at Florida and Tim Corbin at Vandy, and that have. But I think it's all about your lifestyle. It's about a fit. Um, my roots are Stetson. I spent 14 years as a player and a coach there. You know, and I keep on telling all the my the the guys that I played with, this is just like Stetson. You know, and and this is why it's a fit. You know, I have a love for Stetson University, and this is, this is it. There's a story, the first week I was on the job at Clemson, 
um, actually we came up here to recruit. Uh, there was a tournament up here, and there was a player that uh, that I needed to see, or Coach Lake wanted me to see. And uh, Shailene and the girls came up with me just to get out of Clemson a little bit, just to see what part of South Carolina is all about. And watched the game, watched a few games, and she went around campus, and we came back, and, and we are in the car. She says, this is just like Stetson. There's a school just like Stetson. And I said, you know, you're exactly right. So, you know, it's, it's all about fit for me. And, and that's what it was. I think it was a it was a good fit, and it felt right. And then um, the Sunday before uh, we uh, I interviewed um, Shailene and the girls, we drove up here on that Sunday. We just drove around, went through campus, had lunch downtown, um, just to get a feel for what the community was about. McGuire, uh, we talked this morning. He accepted the position, so I kept Mike. Um, Jeff Stanick, uh, the volunteer. Um, I met Jeff uh, about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, over in Atlanta. Um, before I was even really involved in the job, um, and I guess my name had, had come up, and he were at the, we were at the same game. And we're about 45 minutes, he just came up and talked to me, and he made an impression on me. Um, and then when I talked to him the other day, you, know, you can see in guys' eyes when they're focused and they're going to be a worker. And uh, so I, I just like what Jeff was all about. He's young, he's aggressive, he wants to learn. He's really aggressive about wanting to learn about recruiting. Um, and I think I can teach him some things about that, so I'm going to keep Jeff. And then um, the pitching position right now, uh, I've talked to a, a couple guys. The guy that I'm really interested in is a, uh, a young man uh, that was in my first recruiting class at uh, Stetson. Um, he pitched 10 years of pro ball, just finished up his degree after retiring from pro ball. He was a volunteer at Stetson. Uh, his name is Clint Chrysler, uh, and uh, he's not officially hired yet. We still have to go through all the paperwork. Uh, and cleared all that kind of stuff, but uh, he, he'll be the, the pitching coach if everything goes as planned. So uh, just finalized all that uh, with Mike uh, this morning, Jeff yesterday, and Clint uh, yesterday. So I'm real excited. We're, you usually go into a new job and the cupboards are, are bare. The cupboards aren't bare here. You know, you look at the roster, you know, I think it's seven out of the nine position players are coming back. You know, nine out of the 11 pitchers are coming back. Your top three guys uh, in the rotation are coming back. Your closure's coming back. A um, couple guys I've been on the phone with are having real good summers in the Cape or Alaska. A uh, couple of the transfers that weren't able to play last year are going to be able to, and they come from South Carolina, North Carolina, two really good programs. So, I mean, I think it, it, the, the cupboards is, is not bare, so I think we got a chance to be really good right away. Now, from day one, from the meeting one, I'm going to start instituting my program. Um, it's going to go right from day one. And the biggest thing that I'm talking about with these guys is competition. That's the biggest thing that uh, we're going to talk is we're going to compete every single day. If it's uh, in the weight room, if it's uh, doing agilities, if it's just uh, long tossing, if it's uh, four on ones, inter squad games, we're going to compete every single day. And what they do for me, see, I'm coming in with no, uh, uh, no notion what these guys can really do. So everybody's starting out on an even playing field. So they're going to have to compete. They have to prove to me they, need, they belong on that field. So I think from that standpoint right there, you know, it's not going to take long to institute um, what I need to do. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not stupid enough to come in and say I'm just going to make wholesale changes. You know, you go in and gradually make changes what you want, want to do in the program. Um, and I think that's a big thing. You've got you to put your, my mark on this program, but it's not going to be in one day. It's going to take, you know, it's going to take probably a year to put my mark. But, again, the biggest thing that they're going to do, they're going to hustle all the time. And that's going to be my first mark and compete all the time. That's going to be my first mark that I'm going to leave on this program. You got It's about relationships. That's what it's all about. So I think that's going to be the biggest thing, not because I'm coming from Clemson. It's just because I've been doing it for so long and I have that many contacts where I can go into Georgia, I can go into South Carolina, I can go into Virginia, I can go up to the Northeast. Um, and that's, that's, and that's where you, you got to have them find your niches. That's what we always say. You've got to find your niches, and that's what our niches are going to be. You know, we're going to get into Georgia. We're going to stay in South Carolina. We're going to go to North Carolina, but we're also going to get in the Northeast. We're going to get in the Midwest a little bit with the Illinois, Chicago area. You know, uh, Mike has done a good job uh, with Ohio, Pennsylvania. So it, it's all about contacts, and I think that's the, the exciting thing about me uh, and Mike working together. He's been doing this a long time, and he has contacts. Now, now you put those two contacts together, so your recruiting base just grows a lot. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about.